Welcome to BT Travel. I'm your host, Sabrina, here to guide you on all things Barbadian and vacation. Today is all about the street food, and we're gonna try some Bajan and international street food here. I hope you're ready. Get your taste buds ready because we're about to try some amazing food. Let's go. On our first stop, we are here at Granny's Restaurant, right in the heart of Oysters, just opposite the fish fry. You'll find Granny's Restaurant here. Here you'll find an array of local Barbadian food, and their special treat is the fried liver. Let's go in and take a try. Granny's Restaurant. Enjoy authentic Bajan food at Granny's Restaurant in Oysters Christchurch. Here you'll find a variety of Barbadian and Caribbean cuisine at affordable prices. This is a place to get that very popular cuckoo and flying fish or some macaroni pie and baked pork. How about some green peas and rice with some curried lamb served daily, fresh and tasty. Here we have fried chicken eggs, desserts and liver. The difference between the two, one is a bit more chewier than the other. The texture is very crunchy, it's well flavored. Just, just dig in with your hands and enjoy. Legendary fish cakes. Fish cakes are a culinary dish consisting of salted fish mixed with flour, fresh herbs, and hot peppers, then fried to golden. Fish cakes have a crispy outside with a perfectly soft and fluffy inside. A legendary fish cakes is a well-known street side stall located at several spots along the south coast. As the name states, these fish cakes are legendary on the island and is a must try when in Barbados. Lisa's Doubles. Lisa's Doubles is a roadside stall that sells doubles and rotis on Worthing Main Road, south coast of Barbados. Doubles is a popular Trinidadian street food, a favorite of both locals and tourists in Barbados. The fillings consist of curry chickpeas, pickled cucumbers, and dressed with either tamarind or mango sauce. Now imagine you could have some good Bajan food, but served in a bread fruit bowl. Here at Yellow Meat, that is their signature dish. And we're about to try their most popular dish, pigtails with some good mellow cream. I am excited to try it, so let's go. Bajan cuisine in Black Rock is here at Yellow Meat. You'll experience delicious Bajan cuisine in a very unique way. Their dishes are served in roasted breadfruit bowls. The name yellow meat comes from a type of breadfruit found in Barbados that is said to be sweeter than the white meat breadfruit. Okay, so I'm about to try the most famous breadfruit bowl here at Yellow Meat. It's their pickled pigtails with traditional mellow cream. Let's try it. Thank you so much, sir. Wow, that looks so filling. I can't even get it out. There's so much food here. This is really good. I, I highly recommend this. I'm not a fan, I have to say, of pigtails. The dish right here has converted me. Mm. Look at that. There's so much to eat, so good. A pizza though, a pizza though, is the newest gourmet pizza heating up the island's food scene. You can find these pizzas and more at Chattel Kitchen Bar House, a bar and restaurant located at the corner of Beckles Road and Bay Street, just opposite the very popular Brown's Beach. We had a chat with the creative mind behind it all. So we're here at Chapel Kitchen on Bay Street with Jamal and we're not just here for the restaurant, 
We are here for the pizza. We're here, a for, pizza the, we're here for the pizza. We're here for the pizza. We're here for the pizza. Yeah. Yes. So what do you want to eat for dinner? You want pizza though? I want a pizza though. You will have a pizza though. So tell me, what are the options? Well, we have three pizzas mm -hmm. on that menu there, but we actually have six pizzas. Wow. Or seven pizzas. Yeah, I can try seven pizzas. Yeah, so we have the Easy Cheesy, which is a plain mm -hmm. cheese pizza, what we will call a margarita pizza. Mm -hmm. But where we normally sold the pizzas, it was always for the kids who wanted the, the, the cheese. Right. So we called it the Easy Cheesy. I like that. Yeah, it. like it, right? Yeah. Then you have the Super Yummy, which is, I said, all veg. Then you have the Hot Honey. The Hot Honey is one of the best pizzas that you will ever have, like, anywhere hot in honey. the entire world. Yeah. I like that. So, like, the Hot Honey is made with, um, with the honey that we spice ourselves, well, I spice it myself, sorry. And I use Scotch bonnet peppers, so it's a Ooh. local, it's a local pepper. Um, it gives it a local flavor, infuses that 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 spice. But the spice with the sweet kind of balances out everything. I also put some other stuff in there to keep the flavor, but just secret, yeah, but secret, secret you know. Yeah, that's secret. But um, the way how it works is, if you taste the honey by itself, it tastes hot. Mm. If you taste it on food and taste it with anything else. The, all the flavors kind of merge together. You don't taste the hot so much as the balance of all the flavors coming through. Oh, lovely, yeah. lovely. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to trying this pizza and I'll let you guys I'm looking see. forward to you trying the pizza as well and yes. giving me your honest opinion. I will be honest. I'm about to try the super yummy and Kim is going to help me because Jamal has been gracious enough to give us two types of pizzas and you have the spicy and the super yummy. And we're about to try it. They look so good. Wow. Alright, I gotta try yours. The flavor in this is just amazing. Just like you said, the pepper is there, but it's not overpowering. It's, not overpowering. it's, like... it's just, it adds to it. There's a bit of sweetness to it. There's not too much cheese, not too much dough. Street food is the most authentic food anywhere in the world you go. And here in Barbados, we have an array of options, including a piece of dough. As always guys, stay safe and enjoy life and I will see you in the next one. I am off to enjoy some good pizza. Bye bye.